And I was not allowed to tell anyone I was Jewish. And somehow I did never let go of my weapon. He hit the enemy when he can. Yeah. I remember the feeling that it left. Well, we were flying over to Munich on July 31st, 1944, was my 25th mission. And about 10 seconds after I released the bombs, a burst of flak hit right under the plane. I don't know, it was one or four, and their batteries or anti-aircraft are groups of four. But uh, I heard a big thump, and the first thing I did was, was shot down. I grabbed my parachute, I just had my parachute harness and my parachute by the side, so I was gonna put it on. But there's a piece of flak in there, so it wasn't gonna do me any good. And we weren't under fighter attack, and then they said Miter. Marty was hit, he's the co-pilot. So I was a medical officer on the crew. So I went up and gave him a shot of morphine and sprinkled sulfa on his wound. He had a hole in his leg about the size of a softball right through the top of his thigh. Uh, knocked out two engines, and we were leaving the formation. So I stayed with him until uh, we were out of the flak, and then I went back to man my guns because we were being attacked by fighters because we're all by ourselves. A formation gone on with two engines you couldn't keep up. So it, we were under attack when P-51s came along and drove the fighters off, fortunately. They made one pass and that was it. So we're on our own. We tried to go into Switzerland because of his wound and it was fogged down the ground, so we're gonna have to go back to England. So as soon as we were out of the fighter attack, Fortunately, at 25 degrees below zero, the blood was freezing as soon as it came out, so it stopped the blood flow. So I stayed at my guns until we were lower down and started bleeding, and I went up for the last three hours. I held a pressure point on his, for my Boy Scout training on his leg because you could put a tourniquet on. And we threw out everything in the plane that we could to lighten the load so we could get home. So did, he sur did he survive? He survived. He was in the hospital four years and had 22 operations. Mm -hmm and uh, he survived about 80.